I'm back. We're back here in the Mirrorball studio, boys and girls, with a new picture. Another new picture. Do you like this one? Isn't it nice? Look, very, very colourful. Butterflies and flowers. Very nice. eBay, £20. Free delivery. I mean, it don't get much better than that, does it? There's actually a gallery place. Uh, like a shop type place in Blackburn. It's got loads and loads of pictures. Some of them are really nice. I mentioned this to you before. There's like these 3D pictures, which <clears throat> appear to be, again, they were sort of butterflies and, and various different things. And they, they're kind of covered in some sort of, it looks like glass, but it would be heavy, probably some sort of plastic. And the bits stick out from the picture. Very, very pretty. Hundreds of pounds they are, dear. 20 pounds. Thank you very much. You can't go wrong. Do you see how much I spend on making the studio look very nice for you? You do, don't you? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Please, can we see the finished car? You're thinking that, aren't you? Uh, if you haven't seen the last few shows, once again, you've missed out, boys and girls. I mean, it's like a long book, this programme. It goes on and on and on. And on, and I know how I know how much it goes on. I know how much it goes on. But I've got the car coming up shortly for you. Please don't rush me. We can't do it all at once. We can't do it all at once. So here I am back home. I actually arrived back home <coughs> uh, very early Friday morning. But I've been doing a few bits and pieces, as indeed I've got a few bits and pieces to do today. You know, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, so much to do. Busy, 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 busy. Clean the cat area. Um, Katie the cat, um, I think she's deteriorated a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to take her to the vet. I'm actually going to ring up the vet after I finish today. Oh, I don't know if they'll be open on Saturday to accept calls, actually. But uh, I'll make an appointment for the vet, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. And um, see what they have to say. Uh, Ronnie, no, Ronnie's been looking after my cat, uh, Katie. So I'd like to thank Ronnie on behalf of our millions of viewers all over the world uh, for looking after Katie the cat last week. Thank you very much. He's got to do it again in a couple of weeks' time as well. When I go away for another one. I'm just jet set. I shall be jetting off again, once again, to um, Cleethorpes, I think it is this time. <laughs> Cleaver, which is a, which is a, which is almost long. That is a long haul drive, three and a half hours or so. I should be. I think it's up Cleaver, somewhere called Caster on Sea. Caster. Anyone know that? C A I S T E R. Haven Holidays, Caster on Sea. I'll be going there um, with my nephew and his family. Looking very much forward to that one. Um, and while he's doing that, uh, while I'm doing that, he'll be looking after Katie the cat again. <clears throat> um. Uh, she's, um, Ronnie noticed that she's eating funny now, kind of like that, with her head down. Now, she does have a bit of a growth here, so I'm wondering if that's gone into her mouth, which is quite possible, and you know what that means, don't you? Um, uh, so we'll see how we go. Uh, she's got a little bit more dirty now. We're, we're now finding, I don't know how it's happening, to be honest, but, um, uh, apart from on the floor, it ends up on the side of the fridge, and up the blooming washing machine, and it's a just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Last night I got in from work about um about half past one, about half past one twenty to two. I didn't get to bed till twenty past two. I was cleaning the cleaning the cat area. Oh well, well we carry on. We do the best we can. We do the best we can. So that's that. So as I say, I got back uh, very early Friday morning. Uh, the trip home, no traffic whatsoever anywhere. Nothing at all. Just a nice three hours and five, ten minute drive perhaps. Uh, I didn't go fast at all. The, the fastest I went was about 65 mile an hour. That's absolutely true, that is. <clears throat> so nice, easy drive all the way home. Um... Uh, that I, I have to say, I you know I had trouble sleeping there. I don't know if I told you this, but there was a lot of noise from the caravan next to mine. Now the thing is with caravans, the sound insulation is not that good. <clears throat> and I was laying in bed on Thursday afternoon, having my afternoon nap with that little. I had still had a little bit of a headache. wasn't too much to write home about, uh, but I had the worst headache ever on on was it Thursday. Was it, was it, was it, was Wednesday, was Wednesday, was it? I had a dreadful headache uh, caused, I think, by too much uh, sit, walking out in the sun with my bald bit on. My sister reckons it's because I'm bald there. The sun is now getting directly into my brain. How sad is that? Um, and 
while I was laying there, there was so much noise, like children running up and down. I know, I know, I know we were all children once. I'm not complaining about that. But they were running up and down. And it was almost like they were next to me. You know, caravans are... Some of them are closer to each other than others. It depends where you are. They're quite close in, the, in this particular place. And as I say, they're not that well sound insulated caravans. Anyway, and then I could hear what, what sounded like a ball. This is while I'm laying in bed about, about five o'clock in the afternoon. Of course, you know, I sleep at awkward times. That, that's normal to me, you see. Uh, so it's probably half my fault anyway. And it sounded like there was a ball being kicked up. Anyway, oh, I, I just tried to ignore it, and I, I did manage to get to sleep in the end. Um, but if um, the... Uh, once I got up, I thought, well, it's gone a bit quiet. I'm going to have a look around the side. So I had a look. I come out of the caravan. Well, I didn't come out of the caravan. I just opened my curtain, because my bedroom was on the same side as that caravan, you see. Open the curtain. And lo and behold, there's a bloody plastic table and four plastic chairs, like two foot from my caravan, which means four foot from my head that was laying down trying to sleep. And that's what it was. Not only that, not only that, there was one of those, you know, those plastic things and they got a long string on and a ball attached to them, you know, like, you know, human height, sort of my height, but about four foot up. And that's what it was. They were batting this ball to each other. No wonder I couldn't sleep. Oh, the noise, dear. The noise. I was very, very disappointed about that. You know, I was going to make a lot of noise at night. I was going to turn my telly right up at one o'clock in the morning. But of course, you know, after a while you're on holiday, you do slip back into kind of normal time modes. And I found myself going to bed at like 11 o'clock, half past 11, which is lovely. <coughs> My normal sleep time is anything between one and three, usually. That's when I go to bed. Uh, but certainly, I think if I was, if I finished all my jobs, I would probably slip back into a normal routine of, I don't know, getting up about eight or nine in the morning and, and going back to bed about nine or ten at night. I look forward to that time. I really do. <laughs> but I think I would miss my jobs. I do. I do enjoy doing what I do. But I guess there has to be an end to it all eventually, doesn't it, really? Anyway, so um, that was that was the caravan. So a lovely holiday, lovely holiday. It's nice to be back in your own bed. Oh, how lovely to be slipping again, dear, on my... Sli slipping? Sleeping again on my John Lewis mattress topper. Oh, it was lovely. I sank into that and I had the best night's sleep for an entire week last night. I really did. Now, so, you want to have a look at the car, don't you? How is the car? What well, my nephew's done a wonderful job. A really wonderful job. Now, you will notice when you when it gets to the bit where the damage of the car is, <coughs> it is a slightly dark, is it darker or lighter? It's slightly either darker or lighter, perhaps a little bit of a green tinge on there. Now, the reason for that, apparently, is the lacquer, and it, it takes... Um, it's an age thing. So after a while, it'll go back to the same colour as the rest of the car. But uh, have a look at this and see what you think. We arrive at the garage. The completed... Oh, my God, he's washed it and all. <laughs> oh! <laughs> will you not do that, please? <laughs> you will die next time. Look at this. Look how clean it. Have you polished this as well? Yeah. It's like a new car, Jim. Oh, hang on, there's a mark there. What's this mark? What's that little mark there? Oh. Wow. There's a spider here, Jim. Oh, yeah, a squash spider. Well, can that be removed? No, I can't touch spiders. Squash spiders. Look at this. Oh. And now let's come to the area that is damaged. You can't see it. This is gone. Oh, Jim. This is excellent work. Excellent. Oh. Well done, Jimmy Butler International. Isn't that a fantastic job, boys and girls? And remember, if you need anything done, JB Autos and Spaceship Repairs in Horncastle. Thank you. Fab, fab, fab. Well, if it was your birthday in the last week or so, then I'm sorry we didn't do birthdays while we're there. When I'm away on holiday, I don't get to uh, all the birthday dates, but there are some birthdays today, and they're coming up soon. Uh, terrible news, boys and girls. When I got home, 
my dear friend Ronnie had kindly gone out and purchased for me my unsweetened soya milk. Now, I've been using this for years. Outpro unsweetened soya milk, which I have in my tea. Sometimes I must, I, I'm trying not to have too much dairy, you see. Although I do like, I do like a bit of gold top on my breakfast in the morning, whether it's, whether it's porridge or, um, or a, a bran and fruit and bran, what's that called? Fruit and bran flake things, fruit and fibre things. Whether it's that, I do like a bit of a, a gold top on that. But generally, any other milk, I love this, the Outpro soya milk. So he came round for tea last night. <clears throat> yesterday during the day <clears throat> and I made this tea and I, I drank it and I thought oh god it's got that taste now there is a sweetened version of this like a sweetened version and the sweetened version gives it a taste it has and, and a horrible horrible taste it is anyway so I thought to myself well I won't say anything to him but I think he's bought the wrong one Anyway, I kept I couldn't drink it actually I I, I, I drank about a quarter of it and then chucked the rest away and um, a little bit later on in the daytime, I had to go. I went down to the co-op and got some normal. I had to get some normal semi-skim milk because this just tastes vile. And I thought, what, what's wrong? So I had a look at the packet, and sure enough, it looks all the same. Does it look? You know, I don't know if you drink this at all. It looks all the same. And then at the top, new taste. Well done. Well done, Outpro. You have completely ruined this. How can you do that? I mean, do you remember Coca-Cola did this years ago? And various other people, they muck about with something that is perfectly all right. And it now has the awful taste that the sweetened version... I don't know how you've managed it. How the hell do you manage that? The idea of putting milk in tea is that it doesn't really taste much. Just takes the sort of edge off the tea off a bit. This has completely changed the taste of the tea, unfortunately. So there you go. Another customer lost. I wonder how many other people really don't like the new version of this. Do you drink this? Have you managed to have the new taste, no sugars version? Well, I don't think there was any sugar in the last version, but this is just awful. Just dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. So if you drink this, <coughs> I wonder if you, like me, have uh, decided that it's just a horrible, horrible taste, the new. So I won't be buying any more of that. Now, uh, the supermarkets, a lot of them do do their own versions unsweetened. I just hope that it's not Outpro who are making their versions for them because it'll all taste the same. Often when you buy supermarket stuff, the version, you you know, Waitrose own brand or, or Sainsbury's own brand, whatever it is, are actually made by Cross and Black Blackwell or someone like that, you know? They are made. They don't, I mean, there's not, there's not a man in Waitrose who you know, sits at the back making beans, cans of beans. No, they go to another company who oh, you probably already know them. You know, I've got a... A label like Cross and Blackwell. I think I don't think Heinz makes stuff for other people. I'm pretty sure that uh, our old scout leader, uh, Ted Morden, he was a wonderful, wonderful man. Ted Morden is sadly no longer with us. Uh, he used to he used to work for Heinz, and uh, he I remember him saying to us uh, that Heinz don't make stuff for other people. And when we went camping, it was always all oh, tins and tins of Heinz stuff, but no labels on. He wouldn't have the labels on. I don't know why that maybe there were damaged tins or something, but he used to get all this stuff really cheap. <clears throat> but how did we know the labels? Well, they they would have a number underneath it. There's like a number stamped on there, and he'd turn it upside down. Yep, that's baked beans. Yep, that's custard. But occasionally he'd get it wrong, <laughs> and we'd we'd have the dinner ready. We're, we're putting the baked beans now. We open this thing. Might be custard. <laughs> And it's something not right about having custard dribble, drizzled over sausages and mash, is there? But, I mean, we got used to it. <laughs> Do let me know if you try the Outpro stuff, the new stuff, if you normally drink it, and whether or not you like this. I have fired off. I have fired off a very disgruntled message on the Outpro Twitter, of which I've had a, had a, had a reply saying thank you for your uh, comments, which we'll pass on. Whether or not anything will happen to that, I don't know. It just depends how many people complain, doesn't it, really? To um, uh, sort of how many um, uh, bits and pieces come across like that. Well, there we are. Uh, one more little video to show you uh, today, boys and girls. You know I've got a Ring uh, video doorbell now. Well, look at this. Look what landed on my Ring doorbell the other day.
You'll have to be very quick. Watch carefully. Watch carefully. It's an evil wasp. Evil. Evil wasp landing on my doorbell. Look, there it is again. Once more. Once more. In slow motion football style. Look at that. Wow. I see all, th all sorts of little little creatures and that on that doorbell, you know. Foxes. There's two foxes now. I was seeing one for a while. There's two now. Two foxes. One follows the other that I keep seeing outside my front door. I think there must be a little family of foxes under the brambles somewhere. Keep your cats at home. I see a lot of cats wandering up and down there. Oh, yes, it's a, it's a, real, a real wildlife sanctuary that I have here in Royal Berkshire, boys and girls. Right, let's do uh, today's birthdays, boys and girls. Uh, first of all, a special favour for my very good friend, uh, A.D. A.D. is top man and karaoke singer from Tup North, aren't you? From Tup North. Happy birthday today to Louisa Cooper. Now, you texted me this. It was a personal text, boys and girls. You texted me that it was her fourth birthday. I think you must mean 40th. I'm just assuming that, unless she's one of those leap year type people who only have a birthday once every, what is it, every four years or something like that. Four, eight, twelve, which would make her 16. Bit young for you, lovey. 16 is a little bit young for you. I think it's more likely that it's her 40th birthday. So happy 40th birthday to Louisa Cooper. And uh, AD says, you are the best thing that's ever happened to him. Obviously, except for my karaoke's. That is the best thing that's happened to most people, including AD, my karaoke's. But you are probably the second best thing that's ever happened to AD after my karaoke night. So happy birthday to Louisa Cooper. All right, 40 years old today. Happy birthday, my darling. Happy birthday. Lots of love from AD. And he says he loves you very much. Isn't that nice? Oh, if only I could find someone to love me very much other than the cat. And I don't think she knows I'm there half the time, to be honest. I don't. No, I don't. I honestly don't think the cat knows I'm even there. I'm sure she's a bit blind now. When I put her, when she meows for her food, she just walks round and round. And what I have to do, literally, round and round in circles. Oh, it drives me mad. I have to put her in front of the food, and she still can't see it. I have to literally just gently push her head towards the food, and then she, she maybe she gets a whiff of it then, and then starts eating. And my God, does she eat quickly now? Can you eat like that? Eat, eat, eat. Mm. <clears throat> Happy birthday today to uh, my cousin, Patrick Devlin. 50 years old today, you old git. <laughs> Happy birthday, cousin uh, Patrick. Hope you're well. He's over in New Zealand. Happy birthday, Patrick. Be lovely to catch up with you sometime. I haven't seen you for, my God, how many years? 30? 35 years or so. Happy birthday today to Brian McCann, 47 today. To Joanna Green Ecker. Happy birthday, Joanna. Lovely name. Uh, Adam Russell is 37 today. Happy birthday, Adam. And Dawn Barker. It's Dawn's birthday as well. So happy birthday to you all, gang. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Enjoy your birthday on this uh, Saturday, OK? Uh, it's Sunday tomorrow. I'll probably do a live show for you at some time tomorrow, boys and girls. Uh, if you're wondering where to find that, then you need to be either a friend of mine <clears throat> or following me on Facebook. My Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. OK, my Facebook name is Chris Reardon UK. All one word. Just look for that. Click a follow. And then when I do a live show, uh, you'll, you'll see it there. And you can join in and, and phone in as well if you want to. Uh, enjoy your Saturday. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Bye bye now.